Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And we are back on Colboro Park Farm, and uh, I just had to take a break from Hose Housing for a little bit. Yeah, we'll get back to it. But uh, today, we're just going to continue on with what we were doing here. I'm going to plow a couple of fields, and uh, as well as uh, we're going to cut some grass. And that's what we're going to do today. Just a break from uh, all the planting and everything. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at today. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video today. Uh, the game plan is to uh, set these guys up on course play to plow. And then we'll... Um, We'll run over to the the um, grass fields and we'll start mowing some grass over there. I'm going to use that uh, uh, John Deere Moco mower. That's uh, kind of what I got planned for today. Anyways, so we are in field... Uh, what is this? Field 8? And this is field eight. And you guys have seen how this works before. Uh, we're going to start in the, I guess, northwest corner. Maybe we, I think this will be northwest. Could be southwest might actually work. Let's do southwest. Uh, going north. And two headlands. See what that does. Mm, that'll work. I don't really understand this shift here. Why this shifts over like it does. Um, it's kind of odd. Uh, why it would do that. So we'll go right down here. That is not where I thought the southwest corner would be. It's kind of funny. Alright, let me go get the other guy real quick. Killing me how much this thing is sliding. <sighs> I don't get it. I wish the... I uh, really hope Timber updates this mod very soon. Uh, so we can get all that taken care of. And then this guy, of course, is going to be our outside lane. Because uh, he's just already set up for the shift. So, let's turn that over. Now, the one thing you have to do is uh, don't assume all your settings are correct uh, when you come in to get started plowing like this. Uh, go ahead and, and check your course play for the offset. Um, see, in this case, it's wrong. It's 4.8, but it's on the right. So, I have to shift this all the way back to the left uh, to get started. So, I need to go 4.8 left. Activated, activate full drive, come over here, we're in field number eight. And we went southwest, headed north. Two, generate course, verify the course. Yeah, we're good to go there. And let's go ahead and get that ready to go. And we'll run up here. Up, oh, come on, get off my screen. Got a heavy thumb sometimes and uh, do that. And this guy is just sliding on down the field, isn't it? Uh, same thing here. Make sure you verify the offset. I didn't do that a minute ago. So I got that left. Activated. Activate four-wheel drive. Get that started. And we'll get started plowing. And go ahead and drive course. Cool. Same thing here. Lower my plow in. And go ahead and get started. And go ahead and drive course. And those guys will do their thing. And for a little while we can go do something else. And that something else is going to be grab the JCB. And um, which is right here. And we're going to go mow grass. Now I could use the. Uh, I know I could use the. Um, Unimog for this. I just, I'm a tractor kind of guy. Um, Landy Kid loves that Unimog. Uh, me, I'm a tractor kind of guy. I like tractors. So, 
All right, so we're just going to grab our John Deere Moco mower. And uh, I think I showed you guys this thing in the uh, holes hosing video where I just showed that I had it. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, the motor on it did a real nice job on it. Um, it's very much like your real life mower. Um, it has your alternating pivot on it. Uh, so you can change which side it's on. And, um, which is real nice. These motors are great because once you get your initial path cut, you just follow the, you switch the side on it. You get it in the field and you'll either tractor just traveling around where you mowed the time before. It's real nice, very easy to follow. And what I love about these mowers is if you are working in a field that's got brush up next to it, hedgerow, something like that, um, because of the fact that you're pulling a trail arm on it, um, they have a tendency to bounce off of things a little bit um, and not be so for you know, so unforgiving as if you're using a bat wing or something. So we'll run over here to where we've got our little green fields and uh, get in here and get to mowing. And oh, I should have my hazard lights on. I did good. I stayed in the right lane or the left lane, the proper lane. So we'll get in here, get some mowing started, and uh, get going. Right, right. Come back around. And we'll jump out and close this gate real quick. So what I did to, uh, to get the mower, I went ahead and sold off some stuff. Um... God, these things are so silly. You got to come all the way over here to get to the trigger on that. Um, I sold off the offset mower that was in game. I sold off a few other things that I had uh, that I wasn't going to need and uh, got rid of them. There's still a couple of tractors and stuff that I need to get rid of. So the way this guy works is uh, your right mouse button and uh, you move your mouse. So if you move it to the right, it's going to pitch right. And if you move it to the left, it's going to pitch left. And that's about it with it. And so to begin with, I'm going to have it pitch to the left. And I'm going to drive and just have it hug the hedge line. And then uh, your standard controls to lower it and turn it on. And then once I get the, uh, the initial cut done, then I will come back and we'll switch it pitch it to the sorry about that got kicked out of the game for some reason don't know why and uh can't ever explain it why it does that to me every once in a while um ever so recently i get, just get kicked out of the game for no apparent reason so anyways we'll go ahead and we'll hug the uh hedge line uh, as best as we can here and uh try to keep kind of tight to it and um then we'll, uh, that's going to be too tight. Oh, come on. But again, it's a little more forgiving. It'll kind of bounce off of that hedgerow. Um, and, uh, it'll let you slide with one there. So you can get pretty tied up on it. But, uh, once we, once we make one pass around, then we'll drift it over to the right. And uh, we'll just follow what we're mowing right now. And we'll be able to get a nice uh, cut on this. So the only pieces I had to buy were the mower. And then I did go ahead and buy a wrapping uh, wrapper to wrap my bales. So the game plan is going to be to um, um, mow the grass. And on this one, we're going to windrow it and, um, and wrap the bale, bale it and wrap it. And, uh, that way we get some silage making, um, 
then I need to mow some more fields and obviously get myself some, uh, um, I need to get myself set up for, uh, just some green to feed the sheep. And, uh, But yeah. But we can worry about getting grass. I want to get the silage started so I can get some silage done. Kind of the same situation I'm in, except for on this map, uh, the author of the map automatically starts you out with livestock. So you kind of have to get into the, to the livestock thing quick. Um, hence the reason why we bailed all that straw. trying to do this first person for you guys because I know a lot of you really enjoy the first person stuff it's a lot easier once we make the turn here oh, digging into the hedges just a little bit there alright so now that I get back to here where I've already started all I gotta do and I'm gonna switch out for this now all I gotta do is pitch over to the right and I really ought to do this while I'm moving so uh, I'll just kinda move up a little bit and pitch to the right pitch to the right a little bit more it's hard for me to drive and do this because uh, uh, my uh, controller doesn't love me uh, with the throttle being for me my throttle is my uh, right side trigger and then you've also got to do the right side shoulder button to move that uh, it's kind of fun but alright so we're set up so now all we have to do is follow the mode path and uh, as we do that, we'll just continue to uh, mow behind us. And we'll just cut grass and get that done. And uh, when our plow boys finish up uh, plowing the field up there, we'll, uh, we'll go tend to them, move them over a field, and uh, go from there. My intention is to go ahead and get this field cut and wrapped and um, in this episode uh, and at least get some bales started because again you start off with livestock on this and uh, you got nothing to feed them right off the bat so I could go throw them a little grass and some water and some uh, straw they're not going to die you know so uh, I'll just go ahead and do the get some silage bales wrapped and once I get those wrapped, then we'll uh, then we'll focus on getting some grass in the forge wagon and uh, get that over to them. So, but yeah. So this is the game plan for today, anyways. It's like watching grass grow, except it's watching it get cut. All right, so we're going to make our turn. Inside turns are easy to do. It's the outside turns that you have to really... Well, you do outside turns mowing like this. you got to kind of think about it. I always forget I can put cruise control on when I'm doing all this stuff. My f index finger will get tired after a while because I squeeze the trigger for throttle. And uh, after a while, my index finger is tired. I don't know if anybody else does that and just completely forgets to turn cruise control on. I'm really bad about that. So yeah, we'll cut this. Then we'll jump on the windrow, windrow it, and um, be good to go. A 
on those tight outside turns, it's best to go a little bit wide. And uh, if you want to get all the grass cut so you don't have skippage in the center, you know, right where you make your turn in the corner, it's best to go a little bit wide uh, and then con turn, cut back hard into your turn. And that way the mower tracks almost up to the very corner and then cuts. Uh, and that way you get 100% of a cut on there and you don't leave any grass. Um, I probably went a little bit too wide and or didn't go wide in this one up here so there's probably a little bit of grass that I missed but anywho So what else is going on? I did go back on to Holzhausen and uh, tested out a few different spreaders and I still have yet to find a spreader that I can dial in to do just PK in a dry form. So if anybody happens to know of one, um, greatly would appreciate the information. Um, but at this point, I don't have one. So I may go ahead and just spray um and take my chances with the um with the liquid pk i know that's going to add a little bit of water to it but you know it i don't think it's going to hurt especially you know we're going to have a wet wet field anyways maybe we, you know we'll see what happens i will say i haven't gone back and uh did I really just drink water while I was in game? Sorry about that. I never do that. I just reached over out of force of habit and grabbed my water jug and took a big old swig. <laughs> gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just like crazy, crazy brain dead right here. Wow. That's just messed up back there. Um. Anywho. Yeah, I never do stupid stuff like that. I try to always catch myself before I do something. Now, coffee is one of those things. Like, I can sip a little bit of coffee, usually, and y'all don't hear it. Um, but I'm actually recording this kind of late at night. Um, normally, I do my videos first thing in the morning when I wake up. I usually get up, get a pot of coffee made. Uh, check through some numbers and check through some stuff and then I usually get the video cut um, really early in the morning and uh, then I get on with my day um, and that way I know it's done right uh, alright those guys are done so we'll stop right here I'm going to shut that off actually I'm not I'm going to leave it running that way we can power tab back into it all right, so these guys are finished. So let's go ahead and stop our driver. Clear his course. Oh no, he rolled up his implement. Always hate when they do that. Uh, clear out the course. And we'll head on to the next field we're going to do. Which, might as well do the next one over. So all this bouncing right here, this is... This is that stupid drive control doing that. Um, it has nothing to do with this mod. So I'm not digging that. It makes this thing look like it's having convulsions. It's like epileptic tractor. Having a seizure. Alright. So into the field we go. And let's see, this is field number seven we've got here. All right, so field number seven and just verify it. Make sure there's no issues in it. It looks good. All right, and we are going to start in the I got no clue. I just I have yet to figure out how to read this map. Let's look at northwest and we'll say 
headed north. Uh, or south, I guess that would be. Wouldn't head north. Uh, generate course. What we got? Yeah, it looks decent. Looks decent enough. So we'll go with that. All right, go ahead and unfurl my implement, which it's not going to let me. That's the one thing I, I don't get with course play is uh, if it packs that implement up, I can't get it to unpack unless I just tell it to start driving. All right, get it to change over. Where are we starting at? Show me the way. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be way up here. There it is. Wow, it was right about where I was. And I just drove way off. All right. What is it doing? I told it to turn the implement. Why did it not turn? Uh, oh, course play, you silly thing. All right. So we're here. And we'll go ahead and verify our offset is to the left, which it is. So we're good to go on that. And I'll just kind of move this guy up and around here. All right. Let me go get the other one. And I go ahead and start him one time. Oop. Not start. Clear. Yeah, I got to unpack that. God, man, that thing makes it ridiculous. I'm going to have to get rid of that. Eh, that's just ridiculous how much it's making it bounce. Boom. I mean, it almost makes it hard to steer, too, because it's bouncing so much. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to turn that off. What do you guys think about field reaction or ground reaction, uh, that is in the new drive control? I'm not a fan of it. I'll tell you that much. Northwest headed south, right? Is that what we did? Start that. Yes, that's what we did. And verify that we're on the left. We are. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see if I can drive course. Stop. Let that get our implement unpacked. And then rotate it. And we'll get these two bad boys. Now look, that should have rotated. Why did it come back? That's just weird. I don't get that. It started to rotate, went to center, and then stopped and came back. Makes no sense. But anyways, all right. Get that in the ground, make our turn, and then go ahead and drive course. And... Jump into this guy, drop the plow, make our turn here, and we'll drive course. Just light on down the hill, buddy. Oh, I want this mod fixed because I love these tractors so much. Uh huh. All right. I do have a feeling that there's going to be a couple of tractors on this map get ixnade for the uh, the nine series. I really do like them. All right, so those guys are running. We don't have to deal with them for a little bit. We can get back into this guy, fire up our mower, and uh, is that down? Yeah, it's down. All right, so we get back to mowing, and you guys get to look at the hood of the JCB for a while. reason I keep looking back at the mower periodically because I know it gets old looking at the hood of the JCB I watched a video today of this guy playing farm sim and uh, it was an hour of a yellow hood
He was trying to drive in first person mode. Unsuccessfully. There we go. Alright. So what were we talking about? We talked about course play a little bit. Uh, talked about that. I hope you guys like the mod review on that little uh, YSIM trailer. Um, I don't know. It was just one of those things where after seeing it and thinking about it, I'm going to try to fix this little issue right here where I hose this really bad. We'll, uh, we'll roll through it. And then... Yeah, now that that's clean, let's go back around. And, um, and we'll fix that. Again, the first thing I thought when I saw that little trailer was, Ooh, look, something I can kill or carry the skid steer with, you know? And uh, it just turned out that it wasn't that. But, um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, this thing's so funny. Uh, I think it's kind of hosed real quick um there we go are you offset right come on get back on there all right come on i think it kind of swung around a little too much but wait a minute did we just mow that hmm it doesn't look like it actually mowed it, does it? Alright, so we'll uh, continue to do this. But, yeah. Like I said, I was a little... I was hoping that thing would work, but uh, it, it wasn't a very good thing. Apparently, the guy that did those did a ton of construction mods... And has been using them. Now the story I get is they were made for farm sim. And he was playing them in farm sim. Um, and I've seen his Facebook page. And I've seen all of his pictures. And I don't know if he just specifically designed a map to look like it was construction. And then he put all the mods in there to make a lot of pictures. Or if somehow he redid the game to where he could excavate. But... Um, I don't know of a way you can dig holes in the in the map. Because if you could, I'd be a happy camper. Uh, all I can see is like you could put a pit. And the ground texture be brown. And then you could set it up to where the shovel loader could take one scoop out of the ground. And uh, the scoop would then disturb the ground and make it look like it was plowed. Uh, maybe you change your plow textures or whatever, but I just don't quite see how he makes farm sim something where you can use all that equipment. Now, again, I've seen maps that have gravel pits or some sort of, you know, um, some sort of uh, place for you to go load dirt or sand or something like that, like Baldacchino. But... Um, and even I did a, I did one map that had a place to go get gravel and take it to the cement factory. But again, that's a mod that just uh, or that's part of a modded map where it has a little steam shovel on there that just has a, a fill grade, and that fill grade puts it into your um, into your tractor and you go unload it. It's not like it. Um, it's not like it actually digs a hole in the ground. It's just uh, it goes to a load point and it makes the shovel appear full. And you put that in the back of your your dump truck and you go on. And it just uh, so yeah. But it's not like there's any mod out there that allows you to um, have the ability to go in and. dig holes in the ground. Hmm. 
maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something I've missed. I thought maybe it was all ported over from Construction Simulator. Or it was something that was made, modded for Construction Simulator. But uh, after looking at his Facebook page, I'm, I'm led to believe that uh, it wasn't. It was all stuff from FarmSoom. So it's late in the afternoon, mowing grass, getting that done. Um, not sure if we'll be able to get to the to the actual bell wrapping in this video, um, but we'll we'll get pretty far along in this. We'll probably get the cutting and the uh, windrowing done, and then uh, then we'll do a video on the the baling and the um, uh, wrapping and we'll do that my tractors are about done because they're running into each other let's uh, figure out what they got going on whoa this is not good hang on stop quit being stupid come on quit being stupid how in the world did they manage to do this I thought they were almost done. Holy shnikes. What did they do? Where are we at? Now how does that happen? This thing was set up right. Who did what wrong? So it looks like they made two passes and they're on this pass. So how exactly did they run into each other? Hmm. Let me get this guy out of the way here. This should be my outside tractor who was finishing up his lane. He should have been plowing this way. Did he just turn too soon or something? No. Alright, so let's get him around here. And I thought they were down at the end of the course and had just run into each other. Are you oh, that That really aggravates me when it does that. Stupid autopilot. Hired help, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so let's get into this guy. He should be started first. And I should be able to tell him drive course. Just make sure everything's right on this. Symmetric offset. Did the tree down here mess something up? I got this all messed up now. I have to come back and get this lane. I'll just run it manually real quick. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I know I'm not doing things right. I, uh, kind of wondering what they're doing. All right, 
right, so this guy, we'll drop him, and we'll just run down through this line and uh, do it ourselves real quick. Because this should have actually been the line that that tractor took. Uh, the other one tractor took. And... Uh, But we'll get it all straight now. All right. Did I, st I didn't start the wrong tractor first, did I? All right, this guy should be offset left. Maybe I didn't do something right. I don't know what I did wrong. This should be offset left, 4.8. But if I start them right now, they're going to run into each other. So, let him clear. It's like he's offset. He's offset in the right area. He should be left. That's weird. I wonder if it's that turn he took. The way he swung out that caused it. I don't know. I'm just going to let him get plenty ahead of this guy. And then I'll start this guy up and run with him. Alright. So, let me back just not on my game today. I need to rotate that over. There we go. I guess this should be right side. Let me look at my lines. Coming down. I just all messed up here. So this guy should be coming down this line from up there. So let me get this rotated right. Now that I see it, I know what's going on. Hmm. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I'm obviously having an issue right now. Alright, 4.8 on the right. So this is... Nope, that ain't right. I should be way over here. Going down. I should be offset to the left. Hang on, I'll get all this figured out. Now I know what it is. I see the problem now. I see why it did it. I gotcha. I see why they ran into each other. Uh, it wasn't a setting. It was the route. Alright, so get this back to the left. 4.8. That's where that should be. Drop this guy down and get... Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid! I had the shoulder button pushed. I pushed the button. For the love of Pete, please get started. All right. I don't know how much longer I can use this vent with it sliding down the hill like that. I thought that would go away getting rid of the pile spec obviously it is still even with it gone uh, it's still broken quite a bit with the with the patch all right back to mowing sorry about that again I don't like to not 
do a couple of things in the videos. That way at least you guys see more than just one thing. Uh, so a video of me just driving this thing around probably would get old. Uh, hence the reason like, I try to have something else going on. Like the plowers. My little plow boys rolling out there. See how if you swing out really wide and then cut really hard into it, that thing just pivots on a dime, lays back into its lane, and then you just kind of go on with it. Kind of. Next time I make that turn, I'll do it from up above. Third person, you guys can watch it. Now, if you're mowing straight lines across the field, like if you're doing east-west runs, you uh you know on this side you'll have the mower on your right when you turn back around and come back up the field you would switch the mower over to your left hand side and uh adjust it And in real life, if you're running one of these, you've, of course, you've got your hydraulic controls. You're not playing with a game pad, and you're able to do more than one thing at one time. Uh, in real life, um, you can actually manipulate the mower uh, as you're coming into these turns and stuff. You can make it do whatever you want it to do to get it to tighten up a little bit. Or, you know, like if you get to a really tight corner, you can have it you know, tuck in behind the tractor, make the turn, and then swing it right back out um, just by adjusting the hydraulics on it and pitching it either left or right. If you're going to back up, you would want to pitch it to center so that it trailed up behind the tractor and backed up really easily for you. You don't want to try to back it up. When it's offset, um, it'll just go all over the place on you you have a hard time with it so like if you get into a situation where you run deep into something you've got to back up just a little bit you'd pitch it into center or center it up then make your you know back up and then when you pull back around you'd uh you'd center it. and when you're making turns like at the end of at the end of a cut uh let's say you're on the end of a cut and want to um see watch how that thing will turn and just sets up and makes that turn perfectly for you but if you were making a, a turn you want to center it up when you make your if you're going to do a 180 in the field to turn and come back up the field you want to center it up when you make that turn otherwise it will work like a sling it will have like a slingshot effect and will actually sling out in front of the tractor so if you are going to do a uh you know a 180 or something center you would bring it to center and then um because you wouldn't want to tear it up or anything else like that so if you were doing it you'd uh center it up make your turn and then reset your offset for it this is a nice gradual turn so we can just wing it wide and go and then when we get down here on this point down here we'll have to make a real tight turn here might actually turn it there you go But yeah, you never want to make a a turn with this thing like a sharp turn or, or a U-turn or something. Uh, you don't ever want to turn across it. And if you do turn across it and you are lazy for some reason and you want to leave it uh, pitched out when you make your turn, 
turn into the implement, which you're going to pinch it. And, uh, you know, so you're not going to make a sharp turn, but you're better to turn in towards it uh, than you are to turn away from it. Because if you turn away from it, when you turn back around, the momentum of it is just going to carry it straight into the front of the tractor. And it'll do that in game, too. I mean, if I do that right now, in game for you. And you know, if I make a nice hard turn like this, the momentum of that thing is going to swing it. Well, it, did, it didn't do it, but it would have. Especially coming downhill like that. It would have uh, it would have slung it way into the tractor. So, let me back that thing up and get back on everything. Oops. There you go. There we go. Get back on our line and cut it up. So, that's just about it. I don't even know that we're going to get to the wind rowing in this video. We're actually uh, coming up on quite a considerable amount of time here. So, um, we're actually getting close to an hour. Uh, so, we got a couple of fields plowed. And we got some of this mode. Uh, we'll see if we can get the rest of it mode on up. And then we'll... Uh, move on with something else. Let me verify my time. So the plows are finished. So they got their work done. And then, uh, still got quite a bit to mow on this thing. I'll stop them and then we'll jump back and finish up this real quick. That guy's still done. This guy's done. Let's go ahead and drive him off. So the other one doesn't hit him. I gotta get in here and seed this little area with some grass. Um, if you're playing Colboro and you're having issues with um, the fact that when you go and you first start and you get an error or error, little error, uh, not an error, but it it sort of like takes a long time to scan fields four and field six. This is the reason right here. It's this right here. Colboro uh, has these little patches right here and the course play sees this and has a problem delineating between this and this and it tries to it has a hard time right here if you come through here and just like I had to do on holes hose and if I go ahead and and uh, cultivate this up or plow it up or whatever break it up and then plant some actual grass right here so it sees an actual difference between this two textures uh then i won't have that problem anymore it'll get rid of that so i'm going to do that it's uh this field and field four uh on the map which field four is right up here and where it is it's that transition between field three and field four um so i got to go fix both of those i'll probably do that today and uh get that done which so yeah, if you've ever wondered why your why your course play locks up at four and six and takes a while to actually load in, this is it. This is what's causing the problem right there. So yeah, just put a little uh, put a little actual grass there, and you should be good to go. It obviously figures it out because you don't see it combining the two fields. Um, but, uh, holes hose in it actually combines the two fields because 
it can't see enough of a break and uh, it actually will go in there and put the two fields together thinking they are one so it's really important that you do it on that one unless you plan on combining the two fields uh, this one it actually figures it out and doesn't have too much of a problem with it finished I'm just gonna jump in and stop him leave him right where he's at shut the motor off and uh, get back shut the motor off on that one and get going on this so we got a few more fields I got to plow and uh, work towards getting those done up and we can start getting uh, these fields Reset, ready to go. And again, I want to try to not be uh, doing consistent planting on every video. So we'll mix it up a little bit. And uh, so we'll do a couple of days of grass and bales and start working towards getting our dairy farm set up over here. Uh, and getting that going since we already own cattle and uh, chicken and sheep and then we will go ahead and um, probably jump back onto Holzhausen and get that uh, go ahead and get the sewing and the well, you see this, you know, sewing's done for the most part by the time you guys get back to it it will be done because I just got to do the cornfield uh, but I'm not gonna make y'all sit through that uh, but we'll start to finish up our uh, whole process of spraying that and I think one day what we'll do is we'll just so it's not video after video of video of spraying I'll probably just I don't have to do but um, I have to do one weed treatment and one fertilizer treatment and that should be enough for us and we'll just kind of fast track um, through and see what the weather does. Uh, one day I might just, that might be all we do is just fast track through and uh, see what our results are after every 12 hours or every 24 hours. My bad. 12 hour, you know, noon is the water and, and uh, midnight is the growth cycle. So, I think I've got the numbers crunched, and I think i got it figured out. The only real um, variable is going to be the rain and what it does uh, to me. So, we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Well, like I said, if y'all, if anybody knows of a... Uh, a spreader that will spread uh, the dry PK uh, that will let me cycle through the N, the N PK, and the PK. Uh, let me know because I would really like to do that versus uh, uh, versus uh, going through and uh, doing it the other way. I'm just going to make my turn here. There we go. Might go ahead and do some swing turns here. Since we're starting to shallow up on this. Also, uh, 
you know, I run the gooey mist, gooey mist, or whatever you want to call it. I run that particular mod. Does that cause issues with um, the texturing? I'm still trying to figure out why I was getting that gold flake on the ground. The uh, the fill plane fixes the uh, the actual apples in the in the lime spreader. I still don't know why I was getting that gold flake look uh, in the fill when I was spraying uh, the lime. So uh, I'm wondering if I need to take that mod out. But then. I don't know. Because all that is is a texture for lime, manure, and slurry. So, uh, anybody uh, give me some insight on that? That would be cool. I wish I was better at driving so I could turn around and steer and like kick around faster so you guys could actually see transitions. I'm going to move that to center and make my turn. Yeah, maybe I can get it this time. And then swing that out. Yeah. That worked all right. A little tighter up here. I get worried I'm going to run into the hedgerow over there. Let's see if I can do a better job with it this time. Ah, my camera got hung up. Because I went to turn my camera and try and turn my, my mower at the same time, and that won't work. Can't do more than one thing at a time. Sorry that my camera's not that smooth. I kind of get herky-jerky with it all the time. can see it moving around though in the mirror like a little bit I 
So I went with the used version of the MoCo on this one. Um, it actually does look a little bit better the way the paint is on it. Um, Landy mentioned it to me and I thought he was kind of crazy about that. But uh, after looking at it, yeah, it does. The paint's a little bit darker. Looks a little bit better on it. Than the, the new version of it. Uh, what am I talking about? There's two different versions of the MoCo mower. Um, so if you get the... They work exactly the same. They function exactly the same. Which I think is kind of crazy. Uh, but there is a used version and a new version. And of course the uh, used version costs less than the new version. The used version is a little bit darker paint scheme. Uh, than the newer version does. So. Yeah. That's the only real difference in the two of them. And the price. I think you ought to have to pay a higher maintenance fee. On the uh, the used version. Than you do on the new version. Uh, but then again at the same time. I really don't agree with the whole daily maintenance fee anyways. So. And to be paying. I forget what it is on this. It's like it's stupid. It's like thirty-five bucks, maybe more than that a day to own this mower. Seriously, I mean, you don't spend thirty-five dollars in maintenance a day on a mower. That's just absurd, right there. Oh yeah, you're gonna pay thirty-five dollars of maintenance per day. What is it? Seriously, now I gotta look at it just because I'm curious. Mowers, here they are right here. Nine thousand for the used version, eighteen five for the brand new one. As you can see, the green on this one is lighter. Uh, this one's a little bit darker, and your your eye, your uh, stickers and everything are a little bit darker, faded supposedly. Uh, oh, excuse me, it's five hundred dollars maintenance a day. Yeah, yeah. I'm going in the XML file on that one, folks. I'm gonna cry out file on that one. Seriously, $500 maintenance a day? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so get that offset right. I don't do that great trying to look backwards and go forwards at the same time, do I? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you guys a different perspective on it. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of this in third person. And the way you can just watch it swing. It's pretty fun to watch. So we're going to be a little bit over an hour on this video. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap it up. And uh, finish up this little bit of mowing. We didn't get as much done as I thought we could get done in an hour. Um, maybe that was just me being naive. Um, but uh, we've got this mode. 
So uh, as soon as I get done and get everything done tomorrow, we will um, we will come through Winrow this, uh, and then we will um, uh, we'll Winrow it, bale it, wrap it, all that on tomorrow's video, and uh, we'll get that done. And uh, we won't mess with, probably won't mess with plowing or anything. We'll just dedicate that whole video to doing that. Uh, so we'll knock out those tomorrow. And uh, then we'll do something else. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Again, I do hope you enjoy the video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, then, of course, don't forget, guys, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I great to have you guys watching and uh hope you come back tomorrow and check out the video uh we'll do another one then until then guys thanks a lot for coming by and watching i will see you tomorrow stay safe have a great day bye bye